Well, hello everyone and welcome to Innovation HQ where we're going to feature a really exciting uh, local business startup. Um, we've got Glenn Stevens with us here and also Stephen Hill uh, from Opportuna and we're going to hear about the story of Soul and Sea. So, um, fresh off winning this pretty fancy looking award, so the Pirate Power Up Ideas competition uh, for 2021, you guys took it out, but let's take a bit of a step back and find out, you know, where when and where and why did this this idea for this company start? Yeah, so probably it's been a three year journey to date. Um, I was in I was in Tahiti and um, the idea sprung sprung about. So yeah. I, I put the motion in back then, and it wasn't until about the last eighteen months where I've I've been going going for it. And, cool. Um, you yeah, engaged engaged Stephen probably a year ago now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And really put the foot down the last six months really awesome and yeah. explain the the product uh so it's reef safe botanical skincare right so uh mineral based uv filters in our sunscreens mm -hmm. so they're not damaging to the coral reefs they don't bleach the coral reefs so a lot of supermarket brands have got chemical uv filters yeah that are bad for your skin and they're bad for the coral reefs they actually bleach the coral reefs wow and and kill it so, so ours is mineral based, zinc oxide based, and it's safe for the marine environment for for um for ocean enthusiasts and adventurous people. That's so. awesome. And mm. yourself, are you an ocean enthusiast? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it brought together my my passion for the environment, my passion yep. for sport, and um and a product that that works works cool. because it's good for environment and it's it's really good for for sports people. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Mm. Awesome. And um, here we are. Yeah, mm. totally. I think we've, as a as a society, worked out the, the sun's doing damage and, and the yep. more that we can look after our so, natural resources, eh? Well, did you know New Zealand has the world's worst UV in the world? Yeah, yeah. So 40% 40, 40 worse... 40% worse than anywhere else in the planet. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one in five Kiwis get some form of skin cancer. Yeah. And that's more than all the other cancers combined. Wow. Um, so we're addressing two real bad issues is the marine environment and, and your skin health. Awesome. So, yeah. Very cool. Mm. And um, the name, Soul and Sea, where, where did that come from? What's uh, the, the so, genesis? Yeah, so <laughs> it's Latin, Soul is Latin for sun. Yeah. Yep. And sea. So sun oh, and nice. sea. Um, but it's actually my son and daughter's name. Oh, very uh, cool. Sol Solomon and Sienna. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, a little, little play on both. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. And um, Stephen, when did you come into the uh, into the picture and in, in helping these guys out? Well, I got a, an SOS call. Um, might have been about, oh, it was actually about 12 months or so ago. Yeah. And um, Glenn rang me up and he said, um, hey, Stephen, boy, have I got a job for you. <laughs> uh, I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> What's um, you know what's going on here, Glenn? So anyway, he um, he mentioned the the story and what he had planned for the brand and the product range, and I thought, wow, you know, great opportunity to get involved with um, with Glenn and uh, the Soul and Sea crew, mm -hmm. and there was quite a quite a bit of mahi to do there. We had um, you know SPF and and looking at what goes into getting accreditation and working mm -hmm. through all those issues. So where, I, I didn't know that he had a cosmetics background. Yeah, so yeah. He, he said, yeah. "Did you approach me because I have this cosmetics background?" And what it, it's, it, I didn't know that. Yeah. But all, all that knowledge has become really, really cool. valuable for us. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So he wondered how I got my natural glow, and he, <laughs> yeah, and he found out. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. And then um, skip forward. The, this competition comes up, um, yep. and did you did you think you were in the runnings to take it out? Or um, uh, and, well, that's yeah. right, coming from a running coach. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was amazing being part of it, this VT program. Yeah, uh, there's seventy something companies that entered it, and so I walked, walked into the room up at Wit, and it pretty blown away by it. And then it was about over three four months, we whittled down to five finalists. Amazing companies like in, in this region. It's pretty mm. impressive who's out there and what they're doing, and um, we just we just mm. put in the work, didn't we? And we we went hard. Um, uh, we had another mentor that we focused on different fundamentals of the business, ref refined all that, um, costings and price model models, distribution, everything. Yeah. And um, and yeah, we did the five minute pitch a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, took took it out. So cool. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's been awesome. 
And what does that mean for, like, where are you in the stage of product launching and um, getting things on shelves? And... Yep, yeah, so we're pedal to the middle now, um, launch in October this year. Awesome. Uh, so we're in full production and we'll be filling in Auckland, filling the product, get all packaged, everything, and go to market in October. Mm. So there's a, there's a lot to do, heaps to do, but um, yeah, we've got an awesome team around yeah. us. Yeah. Well, from my perspective anyway, I, th- I think. Um, you know, the wonderful thing about Soul and Sea and, and getting the, or well, coming away with the 2021 Power Up Ideas Competition Award mm-hmm. is that it's real validation for what yeah. Glenn and the team and, and everyone, it's a bit like winning the America's Cup in a way. It's, yeah. um, you know, there's a lot of team and a lot of mm-hmm. ingredients you have to, to get together yeah. and, um, you know, to, to be able to, to see this come off Mm. So close to the finishing line in terms of getting the product out to market now is, mm. you know, it's tremendous. But as, as Glenn says, there's a lot of mahi to do between now and 1st of October yeah. launch. So, um, yeah, mm. I mean, this cool. is where the rubber hits the road. Yeah, and it, it's made. It wasn't just me, me or Stephen involved. With this, you know, mm. you've got creators, you've got mm. a whole other team involved. Yeah, you know, mm. to to get this thing to market. So awesome, because mm. one of the things with you know, it's one thing to launch a service based business where you just you know you open the doors and then start mm. doing your thing. Yeah, um, it's another thing when you're actually making a product. You've got to put in all this work yep. before you get to the stage where you can actually get it's, some some money back. Has that been a challenge and sort of that mind? Set of yeah, and it, honestly, it, um, I was I think I was dreaming last year, but I, I was yeah. in Stephen's office and I was, I was pretty doom and gloom, mm. and I was hitting all these roadblocks, roadblock after yeah. roadblock, and I had to push through those, and um, it actually doubled our time frame. Yeah, and, um, but it enabled us to enter this program. Mm. It enabled us to validate the product and do market research and customer surveys fine-tune marketing fine-tune the messaging and um it's been a good thing yeah just yeah. just to slow it down play the long game and um mm. yeah well it sounds like opening up in october is perfect timing as we um yeah. today's yeah. the coldest day of the year so yeah. far so yeah. sunscreen's probably not as in high demand as yeah, yeah bring it on yeah um, oh yeah and, and it's just obviously a costly a product like this is extremely costly yeah so you know massive amount of self-funding to get yeah. to launch and then we'll go down the road of capital raising, whatever, in the future, if we oh. need to. Mm. Or our friends at BNZ Bank, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah can't see the bank manager. Got, got to get a plug in for yeah. the sponsors. <laughs> yeah, that's no, great. Awesome. Yeah. I think... I Dan, think, Peter. <laughs> yeah, I think that was great. I mean, um, and Glenn's mentioned a really important thing around, you know, timing is everything too with the, mm-hmm. with the business launch. Yeah. We're just coming out the back end of um, COVID lockdown and, and all the, the uncertainty around there. So product, um, you know, product supply, um, ch- <clears throat> supply chain. So there were all those issues you sort of had to weigh up. And, and at the end of the day, I think it was a really courageous decision to say, hey, look, let's just wind it back a wee bit mm-hmm. and... Um, just make sure that we're really, um, you know, comfortable around. We've, um, you know, we've dotted our I's and crossed all our yeah. T's here. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. That was hard to do at the time, though, right? Right. You know, it was pushing everything out yeah. pretty much a year yeah. um, to, to launch, but, but I think launch properly. Yeah. You know, I felt like a sleigh dog, and uh, <laughs> and Glenn was in the sled there. Come on, boy! But, uh, <laughs> but um, there for the ride. But um, you know, it, it it was all about teamwork, teamwork there, yeah. and it was, hey, um, we have to make some pretty hard calls here, and um, I think we made the right call, yeah. Yeah. and um, you know that that's that's also part of that road to success is um, you've got to be prepared sometimes to make those those mm. hard calls. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, exciting three months ahead yeah. and yeah. we'll be excited to see how it goes. And as, as you said, we the region is just so entrepreneurial and so I'm sure there'll be mm. a lot of people at home watching watching this and they've got their idea ticking away in the back of their minds. So yeah. mm. um, any tips that you'd give to people who would maybe want to look at like this competition next year mm. or uh, sort of steering down the barrel of look i've got this product i want to want to make yeah, yeah I any, mean, any final parting well yeah words? i mean I, I actually said to my dad when i was about 17 i, I want to be an entrepreneur and he said what the what the heck's that he, yeah. he didn't know what it was he didn't know what the terminology was and so i went down and i went to university and whatever but um 
uh, it's been the perfect thing time for me to get into this. Cool. Um, and just remind me of the question again, sorry. Yeah, well, well <laughs> yeah. Tip, tips for other people <laughs> who are looking people, at it. Yeah, I've yeah. had heaps of other ideas over the, in the past, heaps of ideas. Yeah. And some I kind of got into but pulled out. Um, but it's been perfect time, and I think just just do it. Like, do, do your market research, ask a focus group, test it, trial it before you even get into it. Yeah. Um, but then once you're comfortable, just go for it. To actually do it, that, that's the hardest step. Take team the first first step. Awesome. Yeah. Mm. Great words and all the best for for both of you and especially mm. you, Glenn, um, as you go down this road. And yeah. We'll, Cheers, we'll, I'm sure we'll be able to catch up in, in a year's time and, and hear some of the success stories. Awesome. Thanks yeah. for check, check us out from October. Yes. Yeah. And now website, we'll, we'll put the links below this, but um, mm. what's the website URL, so, if, if you can remember? Yeah, it's the, the sea. Yep. And check and us out. And spelled on, out. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Cool. And Instagram, Soul and Sea Skincare. Yep. Cool. Brilliant. Mm. Thank you. Thanks awesome. everyone for tuning in. Cheers. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.